20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob. I don't usually have a Q&A every month or week or something, but I know a lot of vloggers do. But when you guys hit me with a lot of good questions and comments, I feel it's just best to answer them directly and right to you so that everyone can hear. So here we go. So many butterflies here. Hence the term butterfly man. I wanted to take you guys to the beach, but it's overcast and I'm still waiting on the landlord to fix my door. Still. So, before we get started, I wanted to let everyone know that, um, spoiler alert, if you're anywhere in Bangkok on Wednesday the 13th, that evening, say hello. Let me know where you are. I might be around. Who knows? Hmm. Okay, first question. How is the milk over here? And you hear that there's not much milk. It's true. There's not a lot of milk here. Most of the milk is imported. I'm not as sure exactly where from. But I can tell you the odd thing about it. When, you fir when I first open a milk here and I smell it, it'll have a slight sour smell. It's not sour. You can drink it. And I have never had it go sour. I've actually had it in the fridge past expiration date and it still hasn't gone sour. I haven't tested it to see how long, but the milk here is good. It's different, but it's good. Chocolate milk here to me is better than any chocolate milk I've ever had in America. I don't know why. Second comment was, Rob, um, you seem a little down in your past couple videos back in Thailand and saying that they hope it's just from traveling and that it's not from uh, being sad about being back in Thailand. I am not sad about being in Thailand at all. But the trip was exhausting. In the past three weeks, I flew 25,144 miles in three weeks. So by the time I got back here, I did have some jet lag, but also the humidity is really hot here. And some of the videos were taken at six o'clock in the morning when I had just woke up. So I'm happy to be back in Thailand but maybe it's just all of that just coming across as like <sighs> question was the girl Pam in America really the Pam that's in Bangkok at the end of my videos yes that's Pam she worked as a teacher for a year plus in uh, Korea and then when she got done with that she took a little trip over here to Thailand and now she's back in America and she's actually contemplating doing some more traveling so you may see her again the question of when Someone asked the question, they said, if the bottles that I take to the man down the street have any value for him, then why am I not uh, recycling the bottles the same way he does? Well, okay, this, the amount that you would get per bottle, let's just say it was one bot. If I took him seven bottles, which I could have got seven bot for, that would buy me one bottle of water. And yeah, I could, but one, I don't know where the recycling place is here. Uh, I did ask when I first got here how that would happen, and they said, well, you can bring it here, and there's a man that picks it up sometimes a week. But the gentleman that lives down the road, I see his house. I see, I see they leave the door open every day. You can see what's inside. I see him looking for recyclable stuff to make money off of. And um, I see his family, it's him. I see their grandmother, I see the daughter, I see the wife, I see the babies. And they all sit there and they live very, very frugal. So for me to donate empty glass bottles to him, for him to make 20 baht, 40 baht, whatever a week, is just a little bit of some of the generosity that I get from you guys. You guys have been keeping me on my feet I can at least help out my neighbor. That's the reason I take him the bottles. Chris, you just, as I'm making this video, Chris just asked me on Facebook, when I went to America, did, when traveling to America and then back to Thailand, which one felt like more like going home? Well, obviously for family reasons, it would be America for family, but home for like comfort, I was really looking forward to getting back to Thailand. It was really comforting coming back here. I love to see, I love seeing everyone in, in uh, America. And I got to see him for just a short amount of time, even though I spent three weeks there, it seemed like it flew by in, in a very quick amount of time. But I'm very, very happy to be back over here. This, this is sitting, if it wasn't so overcast right now, we'd be sitting at the beach again. Hmm. Michigan Spencer, who asked about the bugs around here, says, I forgot to talk about scorpions and spiders. Okay, I haven't seen a scorpion. I didn't know they were here, honestly. 
spiders. Uh, in the house, I have little tiny ones sometimes, just the little teeny tiny ones like you would see that makes a little cobweb in the corner. I haven't seen a gigantic thing that's made me run outside my house screaming like a four-year-old girl. One question was, do they keep the eggs in the fridge in the States? And yes, they keep the fridge, uh, they keep the eggs in the fridge in the States. They do, however, here in Thailand, they do keep boiled eggs, packaged boiled eggs in the fridge. They will free, though, they, 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 they will keep those in the fridge. One question is, are there newspapers that you can read here in English? Of course there's newspapers you can read here in English. And also, if you go on Facebook anywhere, you'll see on Facebook, they have uh, expat communities. So you can type in like Phuket expat community or whatever, and they have like little forums where everybody kind of talks and shares ideas or has questions and can get answer from um, from Facebook. So yeah. Do I have any health insurance over here? At the, at the current moment, I don't have the health insurance, but on my trip back this time, I have decided that once Sonny gets back from traveling, I'm gonna get advice from him since he's lived here on who I should contact about it. I know it's tricky when you have um, different visas on, on what and how much insurance coverage you can get, but I will check into that. It was a comment asking uh, that when they travel, when a subscriber travels over here and is going to stay in Phuket or Bangkok, do I have any uh, hotel recommendations? I really don't because I don't, I haven't stayed in a lot of hotels here. The few hotels I've stayed at are just the ones that I uh, stumbled upon. I do look at Agoda, at booking.com. Uh, um, what is the other one? Kayak. I look at a bunch of different sites. But I can tell you this, when you get here, when you actually have feet on the ground here, you can walk up and down a road and see many, 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 many signs that say room for rent and have a phone number. So my suggestion is go to an online website, find something that looks nice and fancy or something in the area that you want to stay in and just book it for like, um, I don't know, three days or something. But then go on the street, walk around, see if you can find something half the price, you probably will, and, uh, and, and do it that way. But for the first time just getting over here, it's easier just to look online. Or if you know someone that's living close by that area, you know, they might be able to recommend something. Even when people come to Kamala, I don't know of a lot of places. The one place, like I used to know, is not even there anymore. This place changes very rapidly. Mm. And I do have psychic abilities. And for the question that will be asked next, Rob, why are you hinting or thinking of going back to Bangkok? Did you forget about Fawn? Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody goody. Don't Go forget that. Goody goody. La if life is good, it's good. If life is better and good, it's goody goody. And great timing. The landlord's here to fix the door. I found that the GoPro session is better for wind. Like right now there's wind directly hitting it. And if I had the black, it would be that unless I put muffs on it. But anyway, since the door's not here anymore in the back, I just thought this is what if I ever showed you what it looked like outside. This is this is my this is uh, my backyard. Look way up there. That'd be a cool place to stay. If I can maybe I can zoom in with the See ya. And you guys know how much I love Coca-Cola, but seriously, this is not available in Thailand. With real sugar. Oh yeah. Dr. Pepper. I'm a pepper, he's a pepper, she's a pepper, we're a pepper. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper? Be a pepper, do be a pepper, drink like a pepper. Aye, aye. Be a pepper, drink like a pepper. Yes, sir. Be a pepper. Sorry. Oh, the first Dr. Pepper in over a year. Salute. Mmm.